Since we're getting into the topic of plotting, it's important for us to take a minute and talk about line weights. Our line weight setting controls the thickness of our line work when it's printed on paper. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set line weights. On my screen, I've got a mechanical example. This drawing is essentially finished. But before I print it, I'd like to visit the Layer Properties Manager. And notice that currently, all of the layers in my drawing are set to have a line weight of default. That means when I print this drawing, all of my lines are going to have the same thickness. Typically, we'll use line weights to emphasize more important parts of our drawing. For instance, I would like the geometry of my part to be a heavier line weight than maybe my dimensions. And I'd like my dimensions to be a heavier line weight than maybe my hidden lines or my center lines. Let's make a change. I'm going to click this setting. This brings up my line weight control where I can select from any printable line weight in this list. Here's my problem. I don't know what the default line weight thickness is. So how do I know I'm picking something that's heavier or thinner than what I already have? Second of all, this drawing was set up for imperial units. This is a decimal inches drawing. Yet AutoCAD is defaulting to millimeters for my line weights. Let's hit cancel and we'll see if we can answer some of these questions. I'm going to visit the Options dialog box. Let's right click and we'll select Options. And if we go to the User Preferences tab, we can come down and click the Line Weight Settings button. And this is where we can get our answers. Notice right here, AutoCAD is defaulting to millimeters for our line weights. If I want, I can set this to inches to see the inches equivalent. Now, millimeters has always been the standard, so I'm going to leave that setting as it is. Notice right here, my default line weight has a width of 0.25 millimeters. And if I wanted to, I could set the default weight to something else. But for right now, at least we know what that width is. Since I haven't made any changes, I'm going to exit this dialog box and we'll close our options. And we'll go back to the Layer Properties Manager. I'm going to click the line weight for my restrictor plate. And I'm going to set this to have a plottable line thickness of 0.6 millimeters. Then I'll change the line weight for my dimensions layer to be a little bit thinner. Maybe we'll go with 0.3. And I'll click OK. And I would like my hidden lines to be a little bit thinner than that. Now I know default is 0.25. I'd like to go a little bit thinner. I'm going to change this to 0.13. And I'll click OK. And I'm going to give my center lines the same line thickness. Finally, I don't have to worry about def points because nothing on def points will plot anyway. Likewise, layer 0 has no geometry on it, so I won't worry about changing its line weight setting either. Now that my line weights are set, this drawing is ready to plot. In our next lesson, we'll learn how to put this drawing on paper.